Brendan here, Gut Whisperer. What's going on, Gut Gang? I've got a really cool video for you. Again, something that you can incorporate into your lifestyle today, if you want, to promote good health, help optimize your health, and really act on your gut. This is hands down one of probably my top mm, four natural ways to promote healing and sealing of the lining of your gut in addition to supporting your immune system vastly. Behind me is a crock pot and I have been simmering two carcasses of whole chickens, turning this into bone broth. So what I do is I will buy a whole chicken, obviously I will put it in the air fryer right there, roast that bird up, and then when it cools down, debone it, take all the meat off, put that in a separate glassware container, and then put the skin, the bones, the cartilage, the gelatin, all into the crock pot, times two, because I like to have two birds in there, maximize my time spent making this. And what I've done here is I've got a potato masher. Let's see if I can do this here. There we go. So I've got a potato masher, mashed potato masher, and I mash it up. There we go. So what I want is I want the bones to become so brittle that they break down. And I'm gonna continue to allow this to simmer for several more hours. And what I'm doing is I am extracting all of the amino acid profiles and the cartilage from the collagen, from the bones, and again from the cartilage and the skin, and it's going further into the broth. This is very different, very different from stock. Chicken stock, you literally just, you can let it simmer for an hour, two hours, and then boom, you've got chicken stock. Chicken broth, bone broth, is very, very different. Like I said, I'm gonna be letting this almost simmer for almost 24 hours, basically. For all of the vegans and vegetarians, unfortunately, you cannot achieve this by doing this with just vegetables because the active ingredient in bone broth is something called gelatin tannin. And that active ingredient is so powerful at temporarily putting a, a, a coating over the epithelial cells that line the gut and it temporarily heals and seals the gut. It almost like it puts a protective barrier across the whole lining and it prevents things, pathogens, from essentially invading into, in between the cells, invading into the systemic bloodstream, causing an immune response. That's why bone broth is so powerful and helpful for your immune system. It's, it's a double whammy. It temporarily heals and seals the gut lining. It helps reduce inflammation and really neutrifies those cells that line the gut lining in addition to vastly supporting your immune system. In addition to obviously providing your body with a tremendous amount of concentrated amino acids and, and minerals and enzymes in that bone broth. And again, the active ingredient is only found in bone broth. So vegans and vegetarians, I am sorry, you cannot get this, this incredibly healing ingredient in vegetable broth. Now, don't get me wrong, vegetable broth can still be good, especially if you're fasting and if you wanna promote kind of good gut health, but if you really want the magical ingredients, you're only gonna achieve that from bone broth. Again, active ingredient is gelatin tannin. Here's what I suggest for you to do. If you would like to incorporate bone broth into your diet, try to do some intermittent fasting, time-restricted eating. When you're ready to have that first meal, make yourself a nice warm cup of bone broth and that'll act as a primer. It'll really prime the stomach, prime the gut, prepare yourself to then have the meal. And the meals should be very nutrient dense, easy to digest, local, holistic. Again, pretty basic, low lectin, plant sources with some good clean protein and some good healthy fats. And try to stay away from carbs. You really don't need any carbs unless you're uh, an athlete and you really depend on those carbohydrates, glu uh, glu um, glucose for energy. So that being said, there it is, bone broth, one of my absolute favorites, and I get all my students to consume bone broth during a fast and also to break their fast. It's a good, good healing um, soup, beverage, and it's very cheap, very, very cheap. It's almost like free, because you buy the whole bird, you air fry it, and then you just debone it and you put it in there. That's it. If you like this, share it with a friend.